goal kick. It's into a very similar area. And again, Cara Henderson first to it, but well recovered by the Glasgow women defence. And a long ball forward that McCulloch heads away. It falls to Claire Doherty. She slots it forward to Lindsay Taylor, who's into a good position here to try and get a cross in. Does get a good cross in. Spilled by the goalkeeper. Donaldson falls it up, and there's the opening goal. It's not taking long for Thistle. 1-0 to the Jags. And it's Rachel Donaldson who goes top of the Thistle goal scoring charts with her seventh of the season. Yes, we did say, Chris, that Rachel would be looking to get on the score sheet um, and I'm really happy for her that she's done that nice and early. Yeah, it came from Lindsay Taylor making that run down the, the right-hand side and getting a ball into the box. It looked like she was almost going to run out of space, but did well to really get that in the middle. Yeah, did well to recover that and keep the attack alive. Um, and it's resulted in a goal for us, so excellent. Here's McCulloch into Bullock. Doherty making a great run in Bullock. Ball. The ball just didn't quite have enough height on it at the right line, but couldn't quite make it over the defence. Back to Faulkner now. And she'll go long in behind towards Taylor. No offside flag, and Taylor's got a few bodies in the box, driving in. Cuts it back to Ferguson, sliced the kick, and now it's Lindsay Taylor again, Ferguson again, and then the goalkeeper grabs it and falls on it. So here's the free kick to be taken by Olivia King. Chance for Glasgow to get the ball forward. And decent ball. McCulloch has to backpedal to deal with it. It's a good clearing header. Then Craig with a strike, and it was a well-hit ball, but it was just dipping low and never really caused Megan Cunningham any problems. I played against Claire when she played right back for Kilmarnock, and she's very difficult to play against. Yeah, she's very fit and fast, um, and she's definitely been a great right back this season for Thistle, and I think that's definitely contributed to where they are currently in the league just now. Cunningham's ball forward, Doherty flicked on with the header and Cara Henderson couldn't quite get there but does get to the second ball as McConnell's clearance comes back to her and Henderson driving sideways, plays it into Lindsay Taylor, onto Abby Ferguson, onto her left foot, plays it to McGowan, her first time shot and it goes just past the post. Absolutely, I think just now the uh, Glasgow women's defence are managing it well but um, it's definitely where we're getting a lot of joy is in behind so if we can keep that up, get clinical. Here's Rebecca McGowan trying to volley, it's blocked, comes to Lindsay Taylor, she strikes it and met it well, but goes five yards over the bar. And then back into Amy Bullock. She looks for a ball in behind to Henderson, and it's a decent one, but again, Wilson's the one there that's covering and sweeps up for Glasgow women and gets it to King. King gives it away though, and Rachel Donaldson takes the oh. hit, and what a goal that is from Rachel Donaldson. Just saw the open goal, uh, or open part of the goal in the top corner, went for the hit and smacked it into the top corner. So that's turn out Thistle and both goals for Rachel Donaldson. Yeah, it was excellent. Just looked up, saw, saw the opening and went for it. Excellent goal. Yeah, and that's the sort of form that Rachel's been in this season, just um, scoring goals non-stop pretty much. Second of the game, eighth of the season, and some of the ones that she scored this season have been absolutely incredible. That might well be the pick of the bunch. That was absolutely brilliant. Very straight on this free kick. King shot, that one just over the bar. And Cunningham able to just sort of watch it as it goes over. I mean, she has been the standout for Glasgow women so far, hasn't she, Wilson? Yeah, absolutely. I think she's the heart of the defence at the moment for them um, and keeping it together. So this will take the throw in. Henderson try to find space to get something into the box. Does get something into the box, but Wilson cuts it out and Ferguson come across trying to win it back. It's going to break for McGowan. Her shot, that oh. one tipped over the bar. Great save from Bergen. Donaldson makes a move, a few others do as well. It's towards Donaldson, doesn't find her. Taylor pokes it towards goal, breaks for Donaldson and blocked well by Torrance. And now Glasgow women going the other way. Rebecca McGowan coming across to try and get a tackle in. Doesn't manage that, but we'll see that ball out for a thistle throw. It's well Murphy. recovered by Rebecca McGowan there. Yeah, throw in taken quickly forward to Donaldson. Her cross into a good area. Henderson meets it with the head oh, and that one unlucky. goes a little bit wide of that left-hand post. Kim Murphy making her way forward to take it. She's got Bullock to her right-hand side. Ferguson further in front of her as well as Donaldson down the line. It goes in towards Donaldson. Donaldson gets a bit of room, tries oh, the shot early on. and peeps, man. <laughs> cuts across it and that one almost on the way out for a throw-in, but Cara Henson keeps it in play, gets the cross in, but that one goes straight into <laughs> Bergen. So a drop ball left for Bullock. Bullock into Taylor, her shot. Takes a deflection oh. and has to be touched around the post by the goalkeeper. Wasn't a shot that had much power, but if the keeper had left it, it was just going to sneak into that corner. Here comes the delivery from Bullock. A few runners at the near post. It's towards the back post again, though, and just a little bit more height, and it would have found Falkner. 
shot towards Ooh, goal, spilled by the goalkeeper, then guarded at the second attempt very quickly. Ferguson shot it was on the volley. This is the kick from Bergen. McCulloch wins the header. It's pretty much straight up into the air though, so she'll challenge for it again. Just about wins it. Plays it with the left foot now, looking Excellent for Donaldson and gets it through to Rachel Donaldson. Chance for the hat trick goal, still going and yes. finds the finish. Great goal from Rachel Donaldson. Fantastic ball from Cheryl McCulloch in the first place. Got it through to Donaldson. And as soon as she picked up that ball, I think she only had one thing on her mind, and that was to complete the hat trick, which is exactly what she did. Slotting it past the goalkeeper with plenty of power and precision. And that's 3 0 to the Jags. Here's McGowan. Across to Doherty. Doherty will play it wider for Henderson. Henderson in the box, tries the shot and that one go wider than the near post. Ball that Honeyman and Doherty challenge for the two number eights, but Honeyman's the one that comes out on top and over to the right hand side. King still going onto her right foot. Now Bargatti, she gets a low shot in and Cunningham has to get across to just fall on that one into O'Brien. Her pass is deflected and now Amy Bullock can play it forward and one for Abby Ferguson to chase in behind but again Jade Wilson playing that sort of sweeper role very well. A oh. clearance that was blocked by Ferguson comes out to Cara Henderson. She plays it forward towards Ferguson. She might have been offside but finishes oh. it anyway and there is no offside flag. Brilliant finish from Abby Ferguson. Instinctive, didn't even really get a chance to look up at the goal but just lifted it over the goalkeeper after Cara Henderson had played it forward and Thistle have a fourth goal. Yeah, I don't really think Glasgow women's defence knew what was going on there. I think they got caught off guard. Uh, but a great finish by Abby. Great work by Cara. And yeah, you talk about attacking players and you've got McClintock and Fisher coming on. They will just want to get on the ball as much as possible. Here's Bullock. Plays it in towards Henderson. Henderson, great turn. Can't you play the finish? No, goes over the bar. Tried the shot from a, a difficult angle with the left foot, but got too much under it. You can't turn your nose up a 4 0 win, can you? No, I think it is a great result, but I also think at the same time they will be hoping that there would maybe a bit more goals in it. But yeah, 4 0 is a great result for Thistle, and it's a crucial three points going into this weekend. Ball forward from Bullock. Long kick gets there, plays it across, it's blocked by the keeper, comes back out to McGowan, try to get it back to Long kick, but she's offside. Couple of bodies in the six yard box, the rest of them all making a move and it's into a great area. Robinson meets it but just gets a glance on it and it goes well wide of target in the end. Thistle looking to take it quickly here with Robinson and Taylor. Taking short to Robinson, her cross towards the back post. Ooh. Keeper doesn't deal with it and the header Ooh. drops yes. into the net. I think it was Taylor Fisher in fact that got the last touch there. Just looked over the goalkeeper. Uh, fifth goal for Thistle. Taylor Fisher getting into that cross after Lindsay Taylor and Robinson took that short corner. It was one the keeper came for, couldn't get to, and finished by Taylor Fisher. Bullock meets it, sends it back in the opposite direction. Lindsay Taylor heads it forward. Now Jordan McClintock brings it down, looking for a way out of a little tight alley, but able to find the pass to Bullock. Bullock then in behind towards Long Cake, and there's a chance oh. here. And there is the sixth. Keeper got Excellent a touch goal. on it. But couldn't keep it out. And Imogen Longcake with her first goal for Thistle. Great ball for me, Bullock. We saw one very similar earlier on. That one produced a shot on target. This one produces a goal. Yeah, excellent. Uh, the ball, the finish. Lovely, lovely jumbly. 